Good afternoon everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. Very recently AWS announced a feature on Data Firehose which allows you to ingest data into Iceberg natively. And today we are going to be looking at that particular feature. So this uh, video I will show you how you can use your Kinesis Data Firehose to push data into Iceberg. So let's get started with the video. All right, so here you may see the official announcement. It's very recent, so let's uh, give it a try, right? So again, I have all the materials for you. So the first step what we need to do is we need to create an IAM role and policy, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a Kinesis Firehose and pump some data into it, and we'll see the iceberg tables, okay? So, all right, so I'm gonna bring my terminal over here, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is uh, you need to, uh, let me actually collapse, okay. Uh, you know, put your AWS account number, put your bucket that you wanna use for this lab and the region. So I'm gonna do that with you. So over here, I will set my bucket name. I'm gonna set the region as well. All right, so now that's done. Now what I need to do is I need to create a policy. As you can see, I have the command, so you don't have to worry about that. So we'll simply copy this policy. Paste it here and the policy has been created. Now we are gonna create a IAM role. So again, we're gonna copy this command. See, it's easy, right? I, I'm trying to make it easy for you so you can learn it um, in a much easier way, right? So yeah, so the role has been created and now we're gonna attach that policy to the role, okay? So let's do that. All right, done, okay? So now go to your AWS management console and if you can probably go to IAM and then go to roles and search for S, S3, S, yeah, Firehose Glue S3 role. So, so this is important. Hopefully you guys have that. Now, the next step is we will head over to Firehose. Uh, before that, uh, Go to databases in Glue. Make sure you have a default database. If you don't have one, it's very easy. You can click on add database, give it a name, and then click on create database. I have one, okay? So just wanna show you that. And also I will delete this one because I'm gonna create one from scratch, okay? All right, so now what we will do next is we will head over to Firehose over here. And then I'm gonna click on Firehose, create a Firehose stream. Now, again, the source can be anything. It could be Kinesis, it could be MSK or direct put. For teaching purposes, I'm gonna directly insert data into Firehose, okay? Again, uh, but again, you can choose the appropriate sources, right? Now in the destination, all these desti destinations are available. So the new one that they recently, very recently added is Apache Iceberg Tables over here. So I'm gonna click on that option right here and then scroll down, uh, leave everything to default. So over here, I'm gonna define a setting, which I have probably given to you. And I'll explain what that is. So here I'm selecting my glue database name. Uh, I'm selecting the table name over here and uh, the appropriate columns that, uh, you know, that fi uh, the, 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 the data is gonna have, right? So that's that. Before you go ahead and click on the Firehose, you know, click Firehose, you need to create this glue table. This my table does not exist. We need to create one, okay? So the way we will do that is head over to glue and simply use the console. And then uh, I, I believe my underscore table, I, I think, yeah, my underscore table, okay. Select the database name as default. That's the one we're gonna be using. Over here is choose iceberg, uh, Apache iceberg. And just, I mean, for now, I don't need all this table optimization, right? So I'm just disabling that, okay. Uh, you know, choose a role that you like, so probably I don't know, I'm just gonna choose the one that I already have. Uh, I'm just gonna click on I acknowledge. And then over here, I'm gonna put the path where my iceberg tables are gonna be created. So it's gonna be in this bucket. And then probably the exact path, I, I, I actually wanna, let's see if I can pull my S3 up. So I have a, a folder called Firehose and inside that I created a folder called TMP1. That's where I wanna land the data, okay? So I go to my glue tables. I will put this over here, okay? And then I'll simply click on the next button. Now at this point, it will ask you to enter a schema. So I'm gonna do that, edit schema. 
and I have a JSON over here. So I'm simply going to copy that. Okay. And then click on save and then click on next. Verify everything looks good. Click on create. So again, I, I have a table. So let me just close these warnings. All right. So I have a table over here in my glue. Okay. So just wanted to show you that. Okay. Now you can go to Firehose. You can uh, put the database name, the table name and the keys that you believe would have. And then for explanation purposes, I'm going to reduce the buffer uh, size to one megabyte. So I can see the data in S3 much faster, right? Buffer interval, I'll just reduce it to 60 for teaching and learning purposes. Uh, over here, um, so if something fails, right? Where would you want to dump that data, right? So what I'll do is I will dump it in a error folder. Or I'll just select the bucket name. It's fine. I mean, later on you can, uh, you know, select the right bucket, this and that. So it's fine. All right. So that's cool. Okay. And then, yeah, rest everything, leave to default and then select the role, Firehose Glue S3 role, the one that we created. Um, I don't need CloudWatch, so I'm going to disable that probably. And then I'm just going to click on Create Firehose. And here you can see the Firehose is now in the um, creating state. So it's creating uh, uh, the resource for us. Now remember, uh, this mainly would work really fantastic with Kinesis stream, also MSK. So I just wanna, if you have MSK or Kinesis, this works perfectly fine with that. So that's that. Now let me share my screen again so that Firehose has been created. So what I will do now, okay. Uh, I also gave you a script to play with, right? So here, simply swap the Firehose or delivery stream name. And then uh, let me see where this folder is probably. Okay, so now I'm gonna run this. So let me just do terminal ls and here you can see insert.py, python3, insert.py. So again, I'm inserting some data. I'm simulating that it's the data is coming from Firehose or MSK. Doesn't really matter. Again, all I'm doing is I'm simulating that the data is coming inside the Firehose. You will be able to see that in the matrix. So if you probably narrow down to one hour and then uh, you'll see, you know, data points coming in, okay, shortly. So now if I go to S3, again, this folder was empty, right? So now let's refresh. I do see the metadata folder, the iceberg related metadata. If I go back to the top directory, uh, I'm simply going to wait because uh, I just published some data and now it will insert the data into S3. So again, inserting some more data so that we can play with. Let's go. Let's refresh here. So, so far we do not see any data. So we're probably going to wait because the buffer interval is set to one megabyte. As soon as it, it exceeds more than one megabyte, it's going to flush to those iceberg uh, tables. Okay. So let's wait. Uh, let's see if we can probably oops, want to cancel. I, I want to see if I can go to one hour probably, but I don't see that button. So I just, I'm just going to leave it to default and let's go here. There you go. We have the data, right? You see that parquet files. Uh, let's see if we can query this data as well. So if I go back to Athena, uh, it should be synced over here. And this was my table. So preview table. Uh, same data, right? We can now see the data points over here. So yeah, I hopefully this uh, video uh, was useful. So this is uh, just announced and I just wanted to make a quick guide in case if you are curious on how to get started. If you really enjoyed the labs, uh, make sure to like, subscribe to the channel and you will find the exercise material uh, including the IAM role, policy and a sample Python file to insert data into the Firehose into my GitHub section. So kindly go ahead, take some time. It just takes 15 minutes to do these labs. But what it will do, it, it will give you the confidence. Oh, I know I can do it, right? So go ahead, try it out. And if you have any questions, let me know. Always happy to answer them. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.